Hello, my friends. I'm Pastor Doug, and it's my joy to visit with you again. Before I get started on my devotion today, I want to correct something that I said last week. We're going to begin our outdoor services on Sunday, May 30th, not May 16th. I, must, I misspoke and apologize for the confusion. Also, I want to thank everyone who attended services in person on Sunday. It was our largest attendance so far in 2021, and it was really good to see everyone. I hope you'll consider joining us on Sunday morning and enriching the fellowship of believers. You know, we're better together. D is improving slowly and steadily. I hope as you're listening to this video, uh, her surgeon will have released her today uh, so that she can drive and resume more activities. We certainly thank everyone for your cards, your notes, your prayers. They have really meant a lot to us and have been so encouraging to Dee. This Sunday, uh, as we look at our message, we're asking a really interesting question. Does Jesus call you friend? One of the songs that we're going to sing on Sunday is Friend of God, written by Israel Houghton and Michael Gunger. Listen to a few of the lyrics from this song. Who am I that you are mindful of me, that you hear me when I call? Is it true that you are thinking of me? How you love me, it is amazing. And the chorus says, I am a friend of God. I am a friend of God. I am a friend of God. He calls me friend. Now think about those words. Those are a profound statement based on scripture and definitely true. You know, we think about why God would call us friend. We know that God loved us and then he decided to become a man, die on the cross and rise from the dead. That we know about him. But how do we access this friendship? In James 2.23, we read, and the scripture was fulfilled that says, Abraham believed God, and it was credited to him as righteousness, and he was called the friend of God. You know, we enter into the relationship with God through faith, through believing in Jesus Christ, not by works, not even by our own effort, will, or decision. It's strictly by grace through faith. Abraham simply believed God, and it was credited to him as righteousness. And then he worked out his salvation through a life, living a life governed by his belief in God. And the great thing about this faith that we have in Jesus Christ is that God is the one who grants it. Ephesians 2, 8 and 9 says, For by grace you have been saved through faith. This is not by your own doing. It is a gift of God, not the results of works, so that no one may boast. So if the basis for our friendship was left up to us, I'm guessing we would never have a relationship with God. We, would un we undoubtedly would continue to reject God. Romans 3, 10 to 11 reminds us, as is it written, there is no one who is righteous, not even one. There is no one who has understanding. There is no one who seeks God. So, first of all, Christ began this friendship with us through his incarnation, death, and resurrection. And then he provided us what we needed as the basis of our relationship, grace. How should we respond to this offer of friendship, of this intimacy uh, that God is offering us? In the Gospel of John, chapter 15, verses 14 through 15, Jesus says, You are my friends if you do whatever I command you. As our Lord, Jesus has authority to command us to live, walk, and give in a manner that is consistent with his character. God is wanting us to walk and talk as his word tells us to be more like Jesus. And yet, my friends, very often as believers, we talk as if we are friends of God, but we live like we are friends with the world. In, the cha in chapter 4, verse 4 of his epistle, James rebukes us. You adulterous people, don't you know that friendship with the world is hatred toward God? 
Anyone who chooses to be a friend of the world becomes an enemy of God. We can't have it both ways. If we're choosing to be a friend of God, then we can't be a friend of the world. And so what is our response? Our response may be as best stated as the old hymn writer said, trust and obey, for there is no other way to be happy in Jesus but to trust and obey. Yes, my friends, God does call us friends. He invites us into this wonderful, intimate relationship that happens through faith and is made possible by grace. Our response as his friend is to do his will, to obey his word, and to abide in his love. And when we do these things, our joy will be complete as we walk through life as a friend of God. Amen. Now, some things that I want to share with you about Wesley Church and some things that are coming up. On May 16th and 23rd at 3 o'clock, uh, we're having some informal gatherings here at the church that we're referring to as family reunions. And I want to encourage you to join your Wesley family for a time of fellowship, an opportunity to reconnect and see one another, to celebrate the good we've accomplished, and to talk about our hope and our faith for a brighter future for Wesley Church. We're going to hold these gatherings uh, outside, just behind the NPR. Please bring your chair, and uh, your invitation will be in the mail shortly. Uh, this Sunday service, uh, we'll continue uh, to be in person in the sanctuary, and we'll also continue to live stream our service on Facebook and YouTube. If you're planning to worship in person, please contact the church office by phone or email to reserve your place. Uh, we have, I think at the latest count, 27 registered for Bible school. That's being held July 18th through the 22nd from 6 to 8 p.m. Uh, you can register children ages 3 through 5th grade via the tab on the church website, www.wesleyum.org. All children are welcome to come and experience how Jesus pulls us through. And Wesley Preschool is also accepting applications for the 2021-2022 school year. Classes are available for one and a half year olds through pre-kindergarten and are designed to meet the needs of a child during each stage of their formative years. Applications are also available on our church website, Wesley um.org forward slash preschool. Well, let's close our time with a word of prayer. Will you pray with me? Oh Lord, who am I that you are mindful of me, that you hear me when I call? Is it true you are thinking of me? How you love me, it is amazing. Lord, thank you for making the way for me to be called your friend. Help me to believe in you, to walk in your ways, and for others to see that I am a friend of God. We ask this all in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, my friends, thank you for visiting with me today. We're going to talk again soon. May the peace of God be with you. Stay strong and stay safe.